All right, I'm back. Uh, I just want to do a little quick little video here about a, a funny story that's been uh, in our within our friends and family for probably well over 20 years, and it has to do with the big guy Lou Ferrigno. Uh, seeing how I guess it was his birthday this week, I thought it'd be a, a good time to share it. Um, a little lesson learned uh, about not speaking with my mouth full of shit. And uh, I guess just paying attention. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, about 20 plus years ago, me and my friend went to um, Wizard World Chicago. And it's kind of like a, like a C2E2. Just not as big, but pretty damn big. They had a lot of guests. And I wasn't really into like getting autographs. And really, I didn't really have like a lot of extra money at the time. So just me and my buddy, we just kind of went to... Just look around, see, maybe pick up some back issues or see some people, you know, stuff like that. So, um, and we're walking around. I remember seeing Erin Gray. She was there, still beautiful, you know. Um, I probably have to look at the guest list to, to see exactly who, who else was there. But you know, usually you have artists and sci-fi and TV people from, you know, the 70s and 80s and stuff like that. You know how these things go. And uh, anyway, we're, we're walking around. I see, I see uh, Lou Ferrigno. Standing there, nobody in his line, not one person in his line. He's at his table, he doesn't have anyone with him, no handler, no wife, kids, girlfriend, friend, no, nothing. He's by himself, no one's in his line. It's just him, and looks like he, if I remember correctly, just got out of the gym. And, um, you know, wearing like, look like, like, like Zubaz and a fanny pack, so... Um, I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go, let's go say hi to Lou Ferrigno. I mean, I was a huge Hulk fan when I was a kid. The, the show was really big, popular when I was a little kid. And um, I actually had this this guy right here when I was a kid for a long time. And, I, you know, over time lost him, got rid of him, whatever, sold him. And I, I actually won him on eBay a few years ago. My, I think I've tried eBay maybe six or seven times and only won once, maybe twice. And that was... That was one, so it's cool to have him back. Go, go see Lou Ferrigno. Now, don't forget, he's he can't hear, so... And sometimes I tend to mumble or, or talk you know, with my head down. It's 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 just a thing. I'm just kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm shy back then. I'm trying to do better with stuff like that. Anyway, I go up to him, and, and he wasn't asking for much. It really wasn't a lot. He had, like, posters and, and 8 by 10s and stuff, and... I'm like, well, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a poster for myself, like a, you know, big, big poster, and I have him just sign his name, and I'll get an eight by ten for my girlfriend at the time, which is now my wife, Roz. Okay, so had him sign my poster, shook his hand, softest hands you'd ever imagine. Like, I know the guy lifts weights, but I don't know, that's the only work he's ever done. So I, I had him sign my poster and. I said, oh, can you sign this 8x10 for my girlfriend, Roz? Now, Roz, I wrote it down here. R-O-Z. Roz. Short for her name is Rosalind. Okay. And that's she's been Roz ever since I knew her in high school. So he kind of looked at me, and he's like, Roz, you know, he can't really talk too good. Like, yeah, my, my, my girlfriend, Roz. He's like, Roz? He's like, yeah, okay. He signs it. I thank him. Now, here's where it gets a little sketchy. I don't remember if when I got home or if I noticed it right away, but knowing me, I'm usually pretty clueless. I don't notice shit right away like that. So I got home, and I said, oh, I showed her. I'm like, oh, I got I met Lou Frigno. You know, no, I didn't have, of course, there's no cameras back then like we have nowadays, so I don't have a picture with it, so... It did happen, though. I know it's weird. If it's not on, it's not, if there's not a picture of it, it didn't happen. It did happen. And uh, I'm like, oh, cool. And, and look, I got you this, too. And she looked at it, and she's like, who the hell is this for? I said, this for you. She's like, well, who the hell is Rod? And if you could see it, he wrote Rod. R-O-D. Rod, not Ross. <laughs> so he must have been really confused if he thought I said my girlfriend Rod, 
but hey, whatever. <laughs> so, and you know, to this day, it's still a funny story. Our friends every once in a while will break out, call her Rod. Hey, is hey, have you have you seen Rod? How's Rod? You know, <laughs> so just a funny thing, and and just taught me that if you're speaking to someone who reads lips, that you should probably enunciate and look at the person and not mumble with your head down like a dope like I did. So, funny story, the Rod story, the week of the big guy's birthday, and um, it's it's a story that'll live on forever, and I, I, I still, I put this picture up, and it's it's on my shelf every day, so I got stuff to Aaron, and I got stuff to Roz, and I got stuff to Rod, <laughs> or one thing, <laughs> to Rod, so just wanted to share that, have a good one, thank you, as always, long live horror and metal. Go Rod!